Welcome to Stave Draws. This is the manual of Procreate, part 24, freehand selection. Section 1. Making a basic selection. Use Procreate's powerful freehand selection tool to isolate elements of your artwork for further refinements. Enabling a selection mode. As soon as you tap the selection icon, selection mode becomes active and the icon glows blue. When you touch the canvas, you won't be painting anymore. You'll be outlining your selection. You notice that the bottom toolbar has several disabled selection modifiers. These become available as you start to draw your selection. When you're finished using your selection, tap the selection icon and you'll notice it turn gray to indicate the selection is now off. You can now paint on the canvas as normal. Procreate's remarkable multi-touch selection tool allows you to create fluid freehand selection and polygon selection at the same time. All while still being able to zoom, pan and rotate your canvas. Freehand. Drag your finger around the canvas just like you were drawing. Don't be afraid to lift your finger off. You can continue by placing it down again. Polygon. Tap your finger on the canvas where you would like to place a corner node. As you tap around, you will see the dashed line complete a straight line from your last point. Drawing a selection. Procreate allows you to make selections while still being able to zoom, pan and rotate your canvas. The selection tool is specifically built for multi-touch. Simple draw or tap around an area you wish to select. You can use Procreate's navigation gestures at any time to zoom in for greater precision or to pan to select areas that are currently off screen. Pro tip. You can combine the use of freehand and polygon styles to create unique shapes. Closing a selection. There are several ways to close your selection to give you various amounts of control, which depend on what your next step might be. When you apply your selection, you will see it turn into a mask, indicated by moving diagonal lines. To apply your selection, do one of the following. Tap the starting point. Draws a straight line from your last point to the blue node. Now you can select paint or modify your selection further. Tap the paint icon. Apply the selection and choose brush you were using last, all in one quick step. Procreate masks work just the same way as you would mask your house if you're painting the walls. You put the masking tape over the parts you don't want to get paint on, and then paint the parts that are covered by the mask. In Procreate, the masking tape is shown by the diagonal lines across your painting. These are the safe areas that won't be affected. Painting with a mask. With an active mask, you can protect the important parts of your artwork. When you have made your selection and are ready to get back to your artwork, tap the paint, smudge or erase tools. You'll now notice that both the selection icon and the paint, smudge, erase icon is highlighted. This lets you know that you're ready to paint inside your new mask. If you want to know more about Procreate, just visit my playlist. And the playlist has all the topics about Procreate. 